Do I regret getting this procedure? Um. smoke detector alarm i know i gotta change battery don't mind her um but we're gonna go ahead and just get straight into the video um here we go guys i hated my results i'm not gonna lie to you guys like hey friend i forgot to tell you my name my name is giselle me and my smoke detector just wanted to come here and apologize about that also um y'all please don't come for my makeup clearly i did not want to put makeup around my nose because i just didn't want to put her at risk of getting infections keloids anything like that so um, we're just gonna sit here and um and appreciate the effort that it took to even look this decent on camera okay okay i love y'all <laughs> let's get back into the video when i first saw my nose i was just like you cannot be for real. Oh my God, you for real. No, you for fake. No, you for real. So the surgeon did say that he did a lot of work on my nose in terms of adding cartilage on my tip because I didn't have a lot of cartilage on the tip. Adding some more of a bridge here for me. Clearly I'm swollen. So you probably can't even see it like straight forward and you're not gonna, you're not gonna see it for a while. Especially on camera. I feel like more in person, you could definitely see it. But the camera is not picking it up. I, on camera, I always get it mixed up. So yes, this nostril, no, not this <laughs> Clearly is more swollen. And that's because he said that what he had to do the stitches. He started on the left side, I the stitches on the right side. So I don't know if there's like just more sewing that is done primarily on that area whenever the stitches stop. Like, I don't know how that works. All I know is that he did it and he said it's gonna be more swollen on that side. Swelling can be asymmetrical for anybody who's ever interested in doing something like this, especially ethnic rhinoplasty, like just know there's always a possibility that swelling will not be symmetrical. It takes time. And that's what I'm dealing with right now. Some days I can be like, wow, like look at my definition, look at my nose. Next day I'm like, where is she? And considering the fact that, you know, I do have thicker skin, it's like the inevitable, I'm gonna swell. Like I was really sad, I'm not gonna lie. I just had to put things into perspective. And I just have to understand that this is not an easy procedure. This is not a procedure that you see the instant gratification. You're not going to. I'm sorry. That's just what it is. Especially for our thick skin girlies. Like if anybody is getting this, like do know. Probably not going to like it. And that's just me being honest. Like you're probably not. And it is like a mental type of situation, which is why they say that this type of procedure is not more so just physical it really is an emotional journey that you're going through when you're doing this i am gonna have a separate video just for swelling because that's like for me that's the thing that i hate the most about this healing it's the swelling one day my nose is looking super cute the next day she's looking like a potato on my face so yeah as far as my nose is looking i have a lot of swelling on my tip clearly you can't really see at least on camera like you're starting to see some definition in the bridge but it's still super swollen so you can't see it february 5th would have been one month post-op it is february 15th a month and 10 days so this is what i'm working with so far girl let me tell you that recovery process was no joke okay like i told y'all the swelling the swelling is just wild it just felt super tight it was hard to even like move my face not that I couldn't, but it just felt so uncomfortable because this is so tight. You just feel like, you don't even feel like expressing yourself. Even now, like I could smile and stuff, but I'm not like, you know, like going all in yet just because it feels so tight. It just feels weird. I was also like draining mucus. I know it sounds so gross. I'm being real with y'all. Especially day five, day six. Whew, day five and day six was bad. Like I was just draining like crazy crazy and it got annoying and you can't blow your nose that's the one thing my surgeon told me he's like you cannot blow your nose so the most you can do is sniffle he said 
you're definitely gonna feel the occasional little sting it's nothing crazy i also did my research and basically it says that that's just the nerves like starting repair itself also you're gonna feel like this prickling feeling you're gonna feel that on your nose it's just like a it's just it's the weirdest feeling also i've had like my nose like have spasms like on the sides like it'll randomly start moving jumping and it's also signs that the nerves are reconnecting so i'm not mad at that my nose is doing what it needs to do i have made this green smoothie that i made religiously oh my gosh i will share the recipe if y'all want because i truly feel like that was one of the biggest reasons why i was starting to see like my swelling go down a lot sooner than later those were the things that i was doing to really help kind of minimize some of the initial swelling but yeah just be be aware of that i did chin lipo along with my nose job and i will say this nose jobs are not to be taken lightly chin lipo with a nose job is like a completely different situation okay i did not I wasn't ready, let alone for the nose job. I prepared myself mentally, emotionally, like I, I gave myself that prep. But girl, when it came to the chin lipo along with the nose job, like that was different. For the simple fact that one, I have this freaking faha compressing my head, right? But I'm also dealing with major swelling. So it's like that swelling couldn't go anywhere. That swelling stayed there and got worse and worse. And the compression is just literally keeping it there. At one point, I literally felt like my face was like here and my body was here. Like I <laughs> looked wild. You could feel your nose like pulsating, like everything is pulsating. And I don't know if it was mainly because of that, because I have the compression. Maybe other people who got the procedure can feel the same sensation, but for me, it just felt like it was times 100 because I did it at the same time. Not only that, but the headache. The headache that I got, y'all, like that was just, that was, it was just disrespectful. It started in the front and went all the way in the back and then all the way back around. So I felt that for like two to three days. So one of the things that helped me was kind of to take off the chin strap for a little bit for like 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes, he said, and every three hours I could do that. I don't regret it. I can honestly say even now, like looking at myself in the mirror, like although I don't see what I want to see yet every single day, it's like something subtle that gets me closer to feeling that way. And I still feel like I look like myself. I just feel like a better version of myself. Now granted, I am literally only one month in. Three months, they say that you can see 80% of the result. There's more to come, but like even now, I really love my results. I'm very grateful. I'm just, like I said, th this swelling here was just wild though. Um, I just want you guys to understand your swelling and you your healing is just not gonna be always linear. It's not gonna go here. Some days it's gonna be good and then the swelling happens good and then you drink something good and then you eat something salty. Like it's not gonna be just, and that's one thing that I truly had to learn about this experience. Please keep that in mind. And I, I'm just really happy that my surgeon really did a good job at maintaining the sh overall shape, but just kind of like bringing it in a little bit and still complimenting my face. I will say it is harder to breathe on that side just for the simple fact that the swelling is more there, not just externally, but internally, it's just swollen. I can breathe, but some days, even that, even on both sides, like sometimes you're gonna be able to breathe, sometimes you're not, sometimes you're gonna feel a little stuffy. That is also a part of the process. Honestly, one of my biggest fears, doubts was that I would look different and I'm just so happy that I don't like I literally look like myself I went to Vanity Aesthetics in Istanbul Turkey my surgeon was Dr. Giray the, 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 I'm gonna call him Dr. Giray my procedure in total was 5,900 that covered hotel, that covered transportation from the hotel to the hospital and the hospital back to the hotel, also from the hotel to the airport. And when I arrived initially from the airport to the hotel. Also um, covered my medication, anesthesia, hotel did come with breakfast and what else did it come with? My chin lipo. <laughs> So I stayed there for about six days. I flew in and arrived January 4th. My procedure was the next morning, January 5th. And I left that Thursday. So the good thing is this. 
after your procedure, once you're given medication, that medication, one of them is gonna be like an allergy medicine. It's also like prevents you from sneezing and coughing. So once you're on the medicine, you can't even sneeze. And if you need to cough or if for some reason you need to sneeze, you can't like, you know, like keep your mouth closed and like have the pressure come out of your nose. You have to like, <laughs> as of now though, when it comes to sneezing, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't bother me. However, I'm not going out of my way to like sneeze out of my nose either. I mean, overall, it was straight. Like, I will say the nurses were super sweet. As far as my surgeon goes, he's really chill. Very straight to the point, but very chill. Did what he needed to do. Also have to keep in mind that you're not paying like a lot of money in comparison to what you would be paying here. Still gonna have a good experience. You're still gonna be taken care of. But like, you know, sometimes you're not gonna have like that white glove experience and it is what it is. Sometimes it did take them a while to respond to my question when I was reaching out to them. So I will say like, keep that in mind. Um, you may not always get like a prompt, immediate response to certain things. I'm gonna have a separate video about what to be aware of. For those who are considering this, do what makes you happy. If the pros far outweigh the cons, then by all means, do what you feel is necessary. And I know people are gonna say something. People are gonna say, you don't need this, you don't need that. And that's okay. Like everybody is truly entitled to their own opinion. And I respect that. You're definitely gonna have your days. You're gonna have days where it's just like, you're kind of over it. You just wanna see your results. You're tired of the swelling. You're tired of feeling uncomfortable. You're tired of feeling stuffy some days. Make sure you go to a good surgeon. Make sure that you do your research. And I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of videos just to help you guys in the process because I wish I had this. I didn't have someone that I could truly just sit down with, vibe with, feel like we're just on FaceTime, just having a conversation about this experience. And I wanna be that for you guys because I truly wish I had that. So y'all are gonna be my besties and we're just gonna get through this journey together. And I really encourage you guys to like watch these videos, especially if you're in the recovery process. I need you to look at this because I need you to keep reminding yourself, it's gonna get better. It's not gonna look like this for the long run it's going to get better. So hold on. Well, all right, guys, that is just about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't seen my original video kind of documenting my experience, please watch it over here. All right, besties, I love y'all and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.